Good evening, my name is Wilberforce Pfeifferfood of Waterville University. Today I'll be teaching my lecture on conflict resolution and problem solving in a post luchador era. Please take notes, I have a very fragile ego. Ah, now my assistant has come upon a problem very common in these fraught modern times. A homeless man has built a shambling mildew fortress on a responsible homeowner's lawn. Now, as my assistant is a complete stranger to both of these people, naturally it is his responsibility to solve their problem for them. There are many valid strategies to choose from. Ah yes, my favorite, the diplomatic approach. Now, the purpose of any conversation is to find out what your partner wants, really wants, deep down, and trick them into thinking you're going to give it to them. You do this by selecting a body language, an opinion, and a tone that is consistent deep down with what they want to hear. Now, conversation is more of an art than a science. In your case, it, it might help to think of it as a finger painting. Now, don't expect to blow them over with one bon mot, but repeat the same message enough times in enough different ways, and eventually they will cave to your every will. Just promise to use your newfound powers for good. That's what I uh, want to hear. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Option two, bit controversial, uh, you have a conversation with them by striking them with your fists. I did say it was controversial, or uh, this is a bit of a bold suggestion, but you could strike that other person. The, the other one we mentioned a bit, you, you could just strike whoever you want actually, you are the self-appointed sheriff of the entire universe. Everyone's problems are yours to solve, so you might as well solve them whatever way is most convenient for you personally. Yes, alright, good form. Well, that just about wraps up today's lecture, but, uh, oh. Oh dear. Well, yes, I, I suppose it could just be the Jim Crikey out of absolutely everybody, but... Well, it's just that that seems like a bit of a waste of the $60,000 you spent on this course, to be honest.